This is the breakdown of a narcissist after losing their news supply. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic. This is the breakdown of a narcissist after losing their news supply. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Your support helps us spread awareness and empower more people. So, let's jump right in. When a narcissist feels lost after losing their supply, it only happens if they genuinely believe they've lost you. They only feel lost if they perceive that you are no longer their possession. Most people, after ending a relationship with a narcissist, remain in the narcissist's grip for a long time. And I don't mean a physical possession. I mean that you're still under their control. The narcissist knows they still have a hold on you. They can see it, feel it, and tell by your behaviors. Most likely your inability to move on from them and live your life independently. Today, we'll explore how you can break free from that grip and reclaim your life. Let's get started. Most people don't realize that after breaking up with a narcissist, especially if they were the one discarded, it's really tough to move on. It feels almost impossible to break free because narcissists have a way of controlling you completely, even when they're not physically present. You might go about your day separately, but their influence still grips you tightly as long as you're in a relationship. You get used to their dominating energy. It's like you're the yolk inside their egg, surrounded by their controlling shell. A lot of people, consciously or not, struggle to break free from that pervasive energy once the relationship ends. It's painful and creates a strong, unhealthy dependency. But what's the alternative? Breaking free means facing the unknown. How will you feel? Can you handle it on your own? Some fear they might fall apart if they escape the narcissist's grip, that energetic tie, because they don't know anything else. Everything else might seem dull compared to the intense trauma bond and dependency they've become accustomed to. Even if you want to move on right away in an ideal situation, it still takes time. Deciding to break free from the dependency immediately doesn't mean it will happen overnight. This applies not just to narcissistic relationships, but even to healthy ones. The challenge is that even after months or years, many people are scared to live without that familiar feeling. Sure, it's toxic and holds you back, but subconsciously, a lot of people would rather stick with it than face the uncertainty of finding new meaning in their lives. Narcissists often don't truly miss the person they discarded because they feel like they still own them for a long time, sometimes indefinitely, even after the breakup. If you do manage to break free, they might not care much because they've already found new people or things to fill the void. But if you break free sooner than they expected, it unsettles them. It's not a conscious recognition of loss, but rather a feeling that something is missing. Narcissists are used to controlling their supply during the relationship and long after it ends. When someone slips away earlier than anticipated, it leaves a nagging sense of loss they don't handle well because they weren't ready for it. Maybe they expected to keep you under their influence for months, years, or if they're a family member, maybe even forever. Narcissists love to act like they don't need anyone. They put on a show of being totally self-sufficient, but the ones who claim to be the most independent are usually the most reliant on others. That's why they go after people with even stronger dependent traits, like codependents who overlook red flags and get sucked into the trauma bond. Narcissists are always lying to themselves, pretending they don't need anyone and that they're perfectly fine after a breakup. They're trying to look like they're living their best life, setting up these illusions they hope you'll believe. But they also try to deceive themselves, and that only works for so long. Eventually, narcissists can't ignore the truth. They start to feel things shifting against them and can't quite figure out what's happening until it's too late. They're always running from reality, trying to pretend their problems don't exist. But this just makes things worse. They dig themselves into a deeper hole, creating more problems until they're stuck. At that point, they might even hope for a miracle because they have no idea how to fix the mess they've made. Thanks for watching. 